Hey Greg, look at this thing's face. I think this thing got up like a while ago. Yeah. I don't really like sticking my feet in the water around here because I've seen tiger sharks in here. Another guy that I know out on the west side, Bobby, he was actually in the my first big yellowfin tuna. He was in the video, but he had a, a big great white shark come up and hit his kayak. up the kayak really quick I got three more baits I told Greg if I catch another fish I'll hook him up with another bait he just caught a kava kava uh, almost good size for catching a marlin but uh, they die super easily so he just let him go I'm gonna throw the next bait I have out back on fluorocarbon out here and just give that a try and then after that bait stolen um, or I catch something, then I'm gonna head uh, towards into shallower water and try and catch an Ono. My last two baits uh, have got the sideways smile from, from catching them, so their mouth is messed up, so they're not gonna stand up to trolling. And this one is the only one that looks all right, it's the smallest one that I had in there. Little tiny guy, probably about six and a half, seven inches. And I'm just gonna try and be real nice and gentle with him. I'm holding the rod, my secondary drag is as loose as it will go, which is how I run it all the time. But you gotta be really careful with these baits. Um, especially with the wind and current pushing, pushing us. Right, coming up onto the ledge now, I'm in 240 feet. gonna try and get my line back. I let it take a ton of line. But I'm coming up onto the ledge here, like in 220 now, and I'd rather not hook up just to get broke off by something taking off and going down over the ledge. Doing good, how about you? Yeah, doing well, man. That sail make a difference. I'm at right now. Dang, I can't even see you. <laughs> up in 190 something real small it's it gonna be probably a kava or a little shibi thinking more that it's a shibi right now because it's fighting pretty hard. Now, 
kamikamas go to the surface like that. Yep, that's a kava kava. He's hooked just in the mouth, so we'll let him go. look at him. He's just hooked in the mouth so I'm gonna throw him back in. That's unless Greg wants him. I got a three pound cob. I'm just gonna toss it back unless you want it. Uh -huh, you can toss it. All right, thanks for the fight little guy. See ya. Two more baits. And I'm gonna cruise towards another spot. I've only got like another 30 minutes to fish and then I gotta bounce. So I'm gonna toss out the sail, hit over there, fish for probably 15, 20 minutes and then head in. I've actually got work today. I've gotta be in at one. Just happy to get out here for the morning. Time for one last bait. I've actually got two, I'm gonna give one to Greg. I've got 20 minutes left and then I gotta bounce. I don't expect him to last very long, but uh, see how his mouth is messed up? Hooked up in 100. at 10.31 a.m. I'm supposed to leave right now. I got enough time to find out what this is. Assuming that I don't get sharked and or cut off on the ledge.
kind of acting like a Kahala or a GT or a Lua. Quite a bit of head shakes. I'm not sure what this is. So I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's definitely a fish of some kind. There's my leader. Big Kava Kava. Another big kava kava. I think he's gonna survive, so I'm gonna let him go. Well, thanks for the fight, buddy. See ya. <laughs> I've got a bounce now. It's 1040 so this is the latest I could stay so I need to put this thing around toss out the sail and get back as fast as I can Five point eight knots, nice. Five point three. Five point five. Cruising. Just some thoughts on the on the sail. I'd plan to route the the rigging back here through these eyelets, but it's way too hard to get to, and I can easily just route it through the grab handles. So probably that, that's probably what I'll keep going from now on. On the uh, the bottom part of the sail, I didn't really think about the pedal drive, and so it's right about the level of the pedals. Uh, right now it's fine because the sail's so far out to the side, and earlier when I was had it going the other way, I just had it split between the two. But it's awesome having the sail. Uh, right now I'm coming in, I'm probably averaging like 3.8 to four knots. And that's with the wind pretty much, pretty much down. The wind's only maybe like eight knots right now. So I'm really, really glad I went out on the limb and decided to make this. The whole reason I decided is because a lot of my friends were selling their kayaks and buying Adventure Islands, which is a, a bigger kayak. It's got outriggers, it's got a sail, but kind of complicated for my, my taste. I actually used to have an Adventure Island, but I'm selling it. But it's, it's about 10 years old and needs some TLC.
All right, so that's gonna do it for part two. That was a pretty successful day of, of fishing. Uh, but thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I'll be happy to hear from you. Uh, if I could do one thing differently, um, and I had more time, I would have live baited that small Kava Kava, the Bonita, um, out into like a thousand feet, maybe found a sailfish or a marlin. Uh, usually I stick pretty close to the ledges. I'm, it's rare that I go way out there. Uh, I really should start doing it more, kind of go big or go home or go out there, catch something good, make a video, and then and then go for the Hail Mary, if you will. Charlie. I'm fun, buddy. You're having fun with Masha.